Hey guys, welcome out to the range. Today I want to do a quick video for you on the steel plates that I use. I've done this video before, but every once in a while I get the subject back out again. This is a plate from Challenge Targets. This is 3 8 AR500 rifle rated steel. And you'll notice that the damage on here, or really the lack thereof, I'm shooting an 11.3, which has a lot of velocity to it. Whenever I shoot steel up close, which is pretty much all the time, and I'm shooting anything longer than a 10.3 inch barrel, I will make sure that I've turned the angle of the steel instead of like this, if it's facing you. If this is the plate and you're the rifle, I turn the angle of the steel like this. To give you an idea, this is looking straight at my van, straight off the head of this target. Where I was shooting from is actually over there. Look at the angle on this plate. I've made sure that I've turned the angle of this plate so far off center that every time that the round hits, first of all, it ends up right there in the dirt about 10 feet away. And the round just totally obliterates into nothing. You're actually more likely to capture spall off handgun than you are off rifle. How do I know these things? Trust me, you don't want to, you don't want to experience what I've experienced. Um, I have caught a lot of bullet spall, so I'm telling you fact. There's there's more mass out of 115 grain, even though the velocity isn't as high as 55 grain, but because there's more mass in 115 grain, there is more time on target, and that bullet tends to kick back at you with a handgun, especially when the fragmentation hits the bolts. With the handgun rounds, and you guys have seen in other videos, you'll see bullet fragments. Um, they look like, uh, look like little nickels. They're probably over there. They look like roughly the size of a nickel, like little lead slugs, and they just go flying into the air and then they, they, they just harmlessly drop on the ground. The jacket, the copper jacket, completely obliterates, or in this case, is a brass jacket. Shooting steel does not require frangible ammo. I, I get this constantly. Are you shooting frangible? No. Frangible is a military thing, and that's about shooting inside of shoot houses on bullet traps. I've actually been in military installations shooting in military shoot houses with bullet traps, and yeah, you have to be shooting frangible because the walls around you are armor plated. The traps that you're shooting into are moved around the room. They're also, they're also armor plate with a rubber, with a thick rubber insert and then the, the paper target is stapled on top. So there's a lot of fragmentation that can potentially fly around that space. In an open air environment, it's not really necessary. Yeah. Every one of those rounds ended up in the dirt right here. I hope the camera picked it up. And I was standing, what, five, six feet away from this thing, shooting an 11.3, and there's no damage. In fact, you can actually see a copper smear from where the round bounced off, and you can actually see the angle in which the bullet ended up right there in the dirt. From handgun, you're more likely to get kickback. The rounds ended up right there. That's copper from the rifle, and that's brass from the jacket on the handgun and there's no damage. There's absolutely no damage to this plate at all. Shooting up close, rifle and handgun doesn't really cause any damage if you know what you're doing. If the, if the angle of the steel is correct and the grade of the steel is good. By the way, AR 500 and AR 550 and all the other AR doesn't mean AR. It means abrasion resistance. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, guys, this is a subject that I have to haul out every once in a while because everyone gets all in a tizzy pizzy because they think I'm somehow being careless. Guys, I'm not being reckless. I'm not being careless. I know where my bullets are going. I have zero potential of hurting anybody with what I'm doing because I know where the rounds are going to end up. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Have a good one.